Magandang araw sa aming mga kapitbahay mula sa Bataan, Bulacan, Pampanga, and Tarlac. Nandito na naman po tayo sa Mrs. Galan's Kitchen for another episode. Mrs. G, ano bang special sa ating uh, episode for today? Meron tayong special guest. Sino to? Isang napakagandang dalaga. Oh? Dalaga pa po siya. <laughs> si Miss Chona Ison. Of homemade treasures. Yes, yung taga porak na sikat na sikat. Sa kanya mga ensaymada. So let's all welcome Miss Chona Ison. Hello. Edala po siya. Oh, may patagukog pa siya sa amin. Hi. Chona, buksan natin. Sige, habang binubuksan ni Miss G. Habang binubulat na to. Okay. Miss Chona, can you tell us ano bang special dito sa yung mga ensaymada? Bakit napakasikat yata nito. Lagi kong makikita sa Facebook, sa internet. Lagi pinag-uusapan ng mga vloggers. Hindi, lagyan natin dito para makikita nila. Okay, kung paano um, siya nakapa? Itong ensaymada na ginagawa ko, these are my grandmother's, uh, mm -hmm. this is my grandmother's recipe. So okay. it's based on uh, the 1930 style oh, okay. of ensaymada. So, yan. Uh, they're different from the ones that you see in the market mm -hmm. because they're richer and uh, they're made with the finest ingredients. Okay. And yung mga ingredients na ginagamit noong may so, and, yeah, and like uh, her, her and I, yeah, I'm sorry, her, oh, her brand suggests no homemade, talaga. Yes. Uh, 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 and they don't have any improvers, mm -hmm. so yeah, no okay. preservatives. Okay, well, for today, you know, just like her uh, classic and say madas, Miss Chona is going to show us one of her recipes, another family treasure. You know? What will this be? Um, my mom's battery, mamon. Okay, mm. so okay. So, wag na natin patagalin. We'll be back. Magandang araw po, mga kapitbahay. Uh, isang klaseng pastry naman po ang ipapakita namin sa inyo ngayon pagkatapos ng mga ulam. Uh, ang luluto ay no, ibebake ng bisita ko ngayon na guest uh, demonstrator natin ay yung kanyang uh, pinagmamalaking special mamon. So, for the ingredients, we need four large egg yolks, three tablespoons of water, 3 tablespoons of oil, 1 4 cup plus 2 tablespoons of sugar, or kung may tibangan kayo, 75 grams, half teaspoon of vanilla, 3 4 cup plus 2 tablespoons of tea flour, or 84 grams, 1 4 teaspoon salt, 1 and 1 half teaspoons of baking powder, Four large egg whites, one fourth cup sugar or 50 grams, one fourth teaspoon cream of tartar, and 100 grams of salt and butter plus sugar uh, for brushing. Iba brush natin ang butter and then sprinkle with the sugar. So, hindi na tayo maginta ng matagal. I would like to introduce to you. Our guest demonstrator today, yung maganda pong si Miss Chona Ison, na Hello. former student ko, Hello. na kilalang kilala po siya ngayon sa kanyang mga ensaymadang, old ensaymada type na mamaya papakita rin namin sa inyo. Hello, Mrs. Galang. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm going to demonstrate to you my mom's special battery mamon. Um, I hope you'll be able to... Uh, Learn from this, and you can sell this also eventually. Huh? Okay. okay, so let's start. Uh, let's start with the yolks uh, mixture first. So, just whisk everything. I whisk nyo lang ho yung water, oil, corn oil. Kailangan ba corn oil siya? Kailangan corn oil para maging malambot siya and fluffy. But if you wanted battery, you can use melted butter. Okay. Okay. 
and um, the vanilla and the sugar. Whisk me lang ho. Making sure that the sugar is dissolved properly. Otherwise, pag hindi na dissolve yung sugar, matigas yung mamon na yun. natin ito sa ilalim siya na. So, kailangan i-dissolve ang buti yung asuka lang. Yeah. And you will know kasi naririnig natin yung sugar. Sugar, eh. yeah. At the same time, nakikita niyo on the side kung natutunaw siya. If it's smooth. Also, yung mga eggs niyo dapat at room temperature sila. Not cold. Eh, paano kaya pag nasa malambig na lugar ka? Ano? <laughs> Mahirap pa atang gawin niya. <laughs> Mahirap siya. So, how long have you been baking? Uh, I've been baking since I was in high school, but I wasn't, hindi ho ako formally trained in mm -hmm. high school. Although my sisters were, ako hindi. Uh, my first uh, experience nga in, in terms of cooking or baking was doing um, polvoron with my sisters when I was in grade school. But I wasn't really interested at an early age. I just loved food kasi mataba talaga ako ng bata ako. And besides, oh, I, 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 uh, I will bat in ano, yung mami niya po, ang galeg. Ang totoo po niya, nakakasama ko mag-aral yung mami niya sa mga cooking school nung araw. At sumasama pa ako noon. Ah. <laughs> After school, sasama ako. But yeah, I really love food. So, ang as a child, ang pag nananaginip ako, instead of playing, ang pinananaginipan ko, pagkain. pizza, spaghetti, <laughs> pagkain, ice cream. So, yeah. So, I think the sugar is proper, uh, properly dissolved. So, first step, um, sift nyo muna lahat ng dry ingredients nyo. The 3 fourths cup and um, 2 tablespoons cake flour with the baking powder and salt. Six, three times. Ito po yun para evenly distributed yung dry ingredients nyo. Uh, mapansin nyo, pag nanonood kayo ng TV, yung mga, um, foreigner, yung mga foreign shows, they would only do whisking. Um, but that's not really uh, evenly distributing the dry ingredients. Uh, this method, the old method, is better because it sifts and then it properly distributes the dry meat. Nga sasabihin ko, Chona is doing it the old method way. Yung talagang kung paano dapat. Eh, ulam mo naman sa mga cooking show na iba, Chona. Di naman nalang tinuturo lahat eh. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> At saka siyempre nagmamadali sila ganyan. Nagmamadali sila, sila. oo. Oh, oh. And besides, she learned it from her mom, kaya yung yeah talagang mga old method na ginagamit nung araw. Yun ang kanya ano, sinusunod. At hindi niya iniba. So yeah, I started baking in high school. Pag may nakita kong recipe from a, from any box, like Quaker Oats box, yun yung first kong ginawa. Kumuha ako ng oatmeal chocolate chip cookies from a Quaker Oats box. Ganun talaga kung paano ka mag, uh, mag, uh, matututo eh. Matututo. And then, uh, my mom noticed na gustong-gusto ko ang baking. So, after college, she uh, she asked me if I wanted to study baking. So, I studied baking at Sylvia Reynoso mm -hmm. and season and eventually came to study also. <laughs> so, bake, cake decorating kasi magaling siya. And anchor. <laughs> so, so uh, tapos na yan. Oh, okay. So, so iwi iwis natin yan. Iwis natin ulit. So, I think this is okay. Smooth na to. Let's do our egg whites. So, mamaya mo na i-focus oh, ito. No? Set okay. aside everything. So, we'll do the egg whites. Oh, upo na lang ako. Uh -huh. Manonood na lang ako sa'yo. Thank <laughs> you. So, make sure your bowl is clean. Walang water, walang oil. Otherwise, hindi mag-whip na mabuti yung uh, egg whites nyo. You know what? Uh, Chona is a very successful ano, 
businesswoman na ngayon kasi uh, yung mga ensaymada niya talagang pumapatok, sabi ko nga. <laughs> And sabi niya sa akin, hindi niya na-enjoy ang Christmas niya dahil oh, niya yung mga order year. na pinagkagawa. No? Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So I'll add the cream of tartar, ha? And then I'll whisk it until it's frothy. Ito rin, dapat walang taba or water. You start at low speed, maybe two, and then eventually, gradually, pa-increase ng pa-increase yan para maging stable yung egg whites mo. So, once you see bubbles, mm. once, you, once you see bubbles, <laughs> pag may bubbles na yan, can slowly add the sugar. Slowly ha, just to make sure the sugar is completely dissolved. Otherwise, matigas yung naman yun. Ayan, no, may bubbles na. Slowly. You might want to use caster sugar kung wala kayo yung manipis na manipis na sugar. Caster sugar, yun yung manipis na manipis na sugar. It quickly dissolves into your white. Pero kung wala, regular sugar. Marami na rin sa ano sa pagkumada. Kaya kita ko yung pagkumada. And then, you can increase the speed. Huwag masyadong malakas yung speed because mabilis mawala yung hindi masasabilize yung egg white niya. Okay, uh, check na natin yung egg white kung stiff picks na. So, pag inangat nyo, hindi na siya nahulog. Pwede niya kanina eh. Hmm. Kahit lagay mo sa ulo, hindi yan. So, let's fold the white with the yolk. Ang galing na po ng demonstrator natin ngayon. Talagang well explained. Hinuro niya talaga. Pero po mga demonstrator, hindi na nun. <laughs> Talagang tinuro niya. This is my way of giving back. I've been blessed with my enseimada. I can teach some people. Yung mga hindi naman binibig. So, ng wire whip? Or... Yeah, I, I would use wire whip. Wait na. So, konti-konti lang. Ay, may Konti-konti lang. Oh, we'll add the flour. We'll add the flour. And then the egg whites. The egg part white. of the egg whites. Okay, okay. lang yan. Dala so, carefully fold, ha? Carefully fold. The old way of folding this is using a scraper with a J motion. But, mas mabilis to para sa akin. Let's transfer this uh, butter into the casarinas, around 11 to 12 casarinas. Mm -hmm. About three-fourths full. Huwag masyadong puno. Para may kakapitan siya. Ang langkot siguro niya. So, nakalilig na naman ako ng istorya ang bata pa siya. Gusto na niya. Pero ako din naman ako nananaging ng food. Food ako. Food. <laughs> Hindi ko naman gusto magluto. Basta gusto ko kumain. <laughs> Ngayon ko lang narinig yun. <laughs> Ice cream, spaghetti, pizza. Eh, bakit ang slim mo ngayon? Oo, oh, pumayat na ako. Oh, mataba ako as a child. And I remember, ang favorite cake ko noon ng mami ko yung 
ice cream cake na roll. Mm. May ice cream na roll. So, nakita nyo ngayon kung paano paggawa ng mga. Napakabait ni Chona at isinyan niya sa atin ito. Her mom's recipe. Pero hindi mo tinitinda yan. Hindi. I can always sell this but it's not really my specialty. But, uh, yeah, I can sell this. Eh, paano mo my... pangititinda kayo? Pinakita mo na. Okay lang. <laughs> it's my way of giving back. Kaya yun yan sa'yo, Mada. Hindi po natin makikita talagang paggawa mo. Kasi yun ang specialty ni Chona. Pero magkikita natin ang itsura nga ngayon. Oo. Flatten na lang natin. Okay. So, flatten mo lang slightly. Just to make sure uh, flat sila. Not too much ang pag-flat. We will bake this for uh, 14 to 15 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Okay. Oh, ani mo na sa oven. Okay. So after 15 minutes, no, na bake na siya, immediately invert. Para uma uh, umakit pa siya. Kasi if you don't invert and remove it immediately from the mold, liliit sila. So around 10 minutes, that's the time that you remove it. At medyo malamig na sila after 10 minutes. So, so what you do is, um, we will brush them generously with butter either you use softened butter or melted butter if you want na medyo light lang hindi mahilig sa butter melted butter ang gamitin nyo but if you're uh, but mahilig kayo sa butter use softened butter since ako mahilig ako sa butter I use softened butter let's try both no? you'll see ha very light lang siya Some would ano, apply melted butter while they're hot para mahulog yung butter sa ilalim. But I don't do that. Mas gusto ko na nakatabingi sila from the kasarina before ko sila brush ng butter. So tingnan nyo, medyo light siyang lalabas. With softened butter, it will look like a Tyson. And I remember my mamons were like this. Eh? It's not like the ones that you see in Red Ribbon or Goldilocks. Homemade yan, Jonah. Homemade, yes, homemade. <laughs> so this is how I remember my mamons. And my mom would make this during our pangadi sa Cristo Rey namin every August 15. It okay, was what is pangadi? Kasi yung iba natin pangadi. viewers, hindi naman kapuntahan. Is, um, padasal. It was padasal for our... Uh, um, for our Cristo Rey. Ah, oh, Cristo Rey. Cristo Rey. So, it was the date na August 15, uh, anniversary of my uh, great-grandfather and my grandmother. Mm. And it's also the birthday of my brother. So, akala ng brother ko, when he was young, he always had a party. Hindi <laughs> niya alam, it was for the family. And she'd make this together with the cheese rolls. So, yan. Pagka melted butter, hayaan nyo muna siyang ma-absorb ng mamon before nyo i-roll sa sugar. Pag softened butter, you can immediately roll it in sugar. I prefer yung sugar na medyo may crunch, yung medyo malaki. 
para pag kinain mo may konting crunch sa top. You can also put cheese on top if you like. Some would use uh, queso de bola and include it in the butter. About maybe 2 tablespoons to 1 for cup. And I think na ano na to. So, medyo lighter. Yung soft and butter nakita nyo, medyo yellowish. So, this is how it looks like. It's different from the ones that you see from the retail. So, pwede rin naman pag gusto nyo ipamigay, gusto nyo magbenta. So, just buy a really nice box and put a sticker. Marami naman pagawa ng sticker dyan, like maybe 100 to 100 pieces of mm -hmm. sticker. Put your label and your logo, para dyan siya. And then, i-wrap nyo lang. I have a sample here. I-wrap nyo lang with wax paper. So maybe, let's do it. Ito wax paper. Kasi, uh, ang mga tao medyo visual. So, you have to really present it very nicely. Maganda. Very visual sila eh. Ikaw ba lahat ang gumagawa lahat yan? Pag nagtitinda ka? Uh, pag nagtitinda ako, I have my assistants. Ayan. Yes. <laughs> I have my elves. And then put the plastic underneath para hindi na ito magkara. That's it. Okay. So nakita po natin ang paggawa ng classic mamon recipe ni Miss Chona. No? Thank you, Miss Chona, for sharing. You're your... welcome. Yes, okay. So ngayon, ang aking favorite part. Yeah, ha, the best part. <laughs> the best part. The best part. Let's try namin ang kanyang uh, mamon. It looks very yummy, no? daming butter. Para ang lambot-lambot. Yeah. Thank you. Nung bata ako, ito sa, isa sa mga pabrito kong binabaon yung mamon sa, sa school. Mmm. Mm. Ang sarap. Ang lambot. Ang lambot. It's very similar to yung Tyson, ano? Yes. Ang sarap. Similar. Very good. So, mm, yung recipe nito, sabi niya kanina, sa mami niya to eh. Sa mami ko. I see. This is a... So, hindi mo chinese, ano? Yung parehan. I did not chinese. Even the way she demonstrated it, yung talagang old way of doing it. Good method talaga. Oo. Oh. Ang sarap. You should try this recipe, or you can order from Miss Chona. <laughs> uh, Miss Chona, if yeah, kaniya napakita, napakita natin yung mga insaymalos mo na. How ab ano? How about uh, sharing with them yung um, phone number in case they want uh, to get in touch mm -hmm. with you for their oh. orders. So, if in case you're interested to order, you may reach me at zero four five three two three four one four nine. Or through my cell at 0928-5070928. So, I only do made-to-order. So, I can always schedule you pag meron kasabay for the entry mothers. Because I usually do it by in a lump. In a lump. In a lump ko sila. I can't do like a few pieces. So, I lump them like every other day. Or sometimes, so malakas every day. So, I'm sure malakas. Kasi sikat na sikat ang homemade, no? For the oh, well, Homemade treasures is in Pora? It's in Pora. Yes, it's, it's in my, uh, it's in my great-great-grandfather and mother's house. So, okay. I live there okay. right now. So. Okay. But you also deliver in Manila? I also deliver in Manila. So, um, uh, I have pickup points every Fridays of the week in Ortigas and in Makati Avenue. So you just call me and I'll uh, I'll just tell you where to pick up kung saan tayo mas malapit. I see. Okay, yan. So, uh, ito, I highly recommend you try this recipe. If not, you can order Miss <laughs> Chala. This is the number na binigay niya. Yes. 
So this has been another episode of Mrs. Galang's Kitchen. Maraming salamat po. Thank Maraming you. salamat po. Thank you, Mrs. Galang. Thanks, Ed. Thank you. For your questions, comments, and suggestions, you may visit our Facebook page. That's www.facebook.com slash Mrs. Galang's Kitchen. That's M-R-S G-A-L-A-N-G-S-K-I-T-C-H-E-N where we will also be uploading and posting our old episodes soon. Hanggang sa susunod po, maraming salamat.